our next comic coming to the stage. She's uh, the staff politics writer for Vice, and she was named one of the 50 funniest people in 2016 by Brooklyn Mag. Please give it up for Eve Pizer. Hey, how's it going? Let me fix this. Sorry. Please continue to be as silent as possible, though. Um, so, uh, I write about politics for a living, but I don't really want to do my comedy about that because it's a lot, <laughs> right? Um, I'm also going to read, too. I'm so sorry. I'm whatever. Anyway, um, I understand that this country falling apart is ideal material for comedy, but instead I want to talk about love. Um, recent, I, I actually want to read you a love poem I wrote about my boyfriend. Um, I don't know if any of you guys have ever fallen in love. It happened to me this past October and I would highly recommend the experience. Um, but, ooh, I'm just gonna hold this. <laughs> uh, before I get into the mushy goodness of my beautiful love poem, I, I wanna give you guys some context because what's a love poem without obscure pop cultural references, right? Um, oh, but the first thing I wanna say, because I always forget to say this, is that I'm Jewish. Um, and that's, that will come into play later because I use some anti-Semitic slurs in my poem. Only things I've been called, but um, people get really tense when I say kike and they're not sure that I'm Jewish. But don't worry, I'm Jewish. <laughs> it's fine. Um, so to give you guys a little background, I want to talk about Shark Tank and Alex Jones. Do you, just by applause, do you guys know what Shark Tank is? Great crowd, I like you all. Do you guys know who Alex Jones is? Okay, don't worry, I'll get into all of it for you. So, um, a little about Shark Tank. It's my favorite TV show um, because it is the most beautiful capitalist propaganda I've ever seen. Um, this is a little complicated for me because I'm a socialist, but I'm forced to live under capitalism and I sort of can't help but love it. Um, and so for anybody who isn't aware of the premise of Shark Tank, a group of self-made millionaire and billionaire investors hear pitches from small business owners looking to grow or save their company. Um, and the show is very much hinged on this idea of the American dream that capitalism can save you, which is a lie. Um, it's not true. Um, I actually recently interviewed Mark Cuban for work and when I asked him about capitalism, he said, capitalism, you make it sound like a disease. It's because it like sort of is. Um, but to go back to why Shark Tank is my favorite TV show, it's because I'm sick. And I love to hate, and I hate to love, blah, blah, blah. Um, but in fact, I take so much pleasure in loving to hate that I end up being drawn to weirder and darker forces than Shark Tank, primarily Alex Jones. Um, so just for the people who don't know who Alex Jones is, you know what, I'm gonna tell you a little about him. Um, one, I'm sorry for telling you about this because your life is better now than it will be in about a second, but um, Alex Jones has his own news network called InfoWars, which has about seven and a half million viewers per month. And he is somebody who's notorious for ranting on camera for hours about the most insane things. He's a Trump supporter. 
He is also a 9-11 truther. He's a Sandy Hook conspiracist, conspiracy theorist. He believes that the government adds chemicals that turn jil- children gay to their juice boxes um, as a means of population control. And he's not 100% closed off to the idea that um, the Earth is actually controlled by interdimensional lizard people. Um, so I'm going to show you a brief, or I'm going to play you a brief clip of Alex Jones. I'm a pioneer. I'm an explorer. I'm a human, and I'm coming. <laughs> That's just a little taste. Um, I actually have a personal connection with Alex Jones because I used to write for a website called Gizmodo, and I wrote a piece about his initiative to stop fake news, which is a noble initiative for a 9-11 truther. Um, And he printed out the blog post I wrote and like held it up to his face on TV and said, it says I'm completely insane. Um, And nothing made me happier than watching that. Um, He's an insanely dangerous man with millions of viewers. He's indoctrinated to believe the same things he does. But that that pure aggression and the fact that he was paying attention to me made me so happy. Um, And so I guess I'm infatuated by his energy because he's like constantly yelling all the time and his ability to shout the most hateful yet poetic things. And I, I, I categorize him less as a human and more as an alien. Um, So in the spirit of that, I'm going to read you a love poem about my boyfriend. It's called A Pioneer, A Human. I am asking for $91,101 for 66.6% of my company. I own the full rights. The patents have been approved. Celebrated by the mainstream media, we made it onto Good Morning America. Mark Cuban grabbed me by the throat and screamed in my face, you are living the American dream, bitch. My feet are cold bags of flesh. I'm shaking in a way a person who is not okay is supposed to shake her leg, torturing myself with eating disorders, a personal touch no one can beat. Angels give you wings, and with wings, you can fly. A principle you must remember, a personal touch no one can beat. Let me tell you a little about my history. I live with my body pillow, Beverly, in beautiful Egg Harbor, Wisconsin. We were high school sweethearts, been married 30 years. Couldn't be happier, I swear. A cubicle job, a suburban life, a plastic bag floating in the wind. It's corporate ass America, baby. What you need is the refreshing company of a special woman. Let her be your guardian angel, angel, your Eileen Warnos, a hard ass bitch. Now you're competing with heavy hitters in the industry. It's not easy to do, it's a risk I'm not sure I want to take. Not enough skin in the game. You see, special women are all porn stars and hustlers. In a parallel universe, I get paid to fuck. Nothing like getting rammed by a throbbing hard red dick, soaking wet, rock hard, enveloped by my puss, a beacon of warmth, et cetera, et cetera, you get the idea. It will be the event of the century, and when it happens, it will explode everywhere, and you will never be able to clean it all up. I'm warning you. I'm daddy's little monster. I'm fucking name redacted, the human man, virile, alive, look at that beautiful thick head of hair, name poached into a vaguely racist meme. Funny because it sounds funny, right? Next in the tank, a kike, a hot kike with Ashkenazi Jewish tits full of sweet Semitic milk. I'm out of breath, but I will help you. Fuck me sideways and backwards. Bruise me in a way that conveys your deep affection. 
grab me by the neck and choke me hard. Scream in my face, George H.W. Bush founded ISIS, and then climax all over my heart. Be a real capitalist about it and don't hold back. As the old adage goes, come makes the heart grow softer. The key to a long, fruitful life, as it turns out. We're not here for anyone else, and we never were. You're in love with the future, and I'm screaming in your face, love is my favorite bitch. Thank you. I'm Eve Pizer.